As a child, my life was easy and relaxed. I felt that the world was a safe space for me. Until the day my dad died. My mother was always with high expectations about me. To fulfill the role she expected me to have. Which was totally different of my dreams or personality. Since my youth, anxiety became my best unwanted friend. I found myself once and once again shaking, nervous, with my heart racing, full of stress that blocked my ability to do even the simple things. I took my driver license in 2005. The idea of driving her car that she prized so much was unbearable and my anxiety grew all around it. So, as I lived in a town center and I could get a bus or walk at ease, I left the idea of driving for some day later. But six years later, my mother died after long-term disease. I found myself responsible for everything that I never considered mine before. Like the new house she was building, and the car. I managed to finish the house, but I couldn't take in the car. So, I walked. First alone, then with my loved ones, then through new challenges. Two years later, I decided to move into the new house, which was in the suburbs, away from the bus and the center. One day, after moving the furniture, the alarm of the new house rang into my cell phone at 2 in the morning, while I was sleeping in my old house. Fueled by the fear of losing all my things, I called the police to check the house. It occurred to me that they could arrive too late. My boyfriend suggested me to call a cab when I realized I will not let anyone rob my house. I took my car keys and I went downstairs to the garage. I told him to get inside to his disbelief and fear. I started the engine and I hit the gas and it moved. Slightly against the door, scratching the side of the car. My biggest fear occurred in 15 seconds. And I stopped. I went out, closed the garage door and expected the damage in the car, but that didn't matter at the time. The alarm was still ringing, waiting for me in the distance. I returned to the wheel, sure of getting to it. Those five minutes were scary, but not the scariest of my life. Slowly, I passed the roundabout and street by street, I reached my destination through the rain. We waited for the police to come, some meters away hiding in the shadows, and we entered the house, turning off the alarm. My hands were cold, wet, shaking, but they drove me to my destination. The darkness inside the house was scary, but reassuring. There were no signs of robbery, and we found everything was okay. It was just the alarm. Is an alarm a reason to be alarmed?